What's up guys, Michael Stroud, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and today I will show you how to access msconfig, and kind of how to like speed up your computer a little bit using msconfig, but to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down and click on the bottom left of our windows here, and click the windows button, the start menu. You click that, then in your search, you type in msconfig. And then you'll see programs pop up, msconfig. You click that, it'll open it. And then you have options, you have your normal startup diagnostic, startup selective, startup. And always click selective, and the way to speed it up is you'll see these, uh, you'll see these little tabs in msconfig, boot, services, startup. And boot's a good one to look at, but the way you want it to speed up uh, your computer a little bit is go to startup. And then check out all your programs that are checked, okay? So you want to see the programs that are check marked. And then when you look at them, you want to say, hey, does this need to be open on startup? Do I need this program open at all times? And if the answer is no, like I have some of these not open at all times, then uncheck it. Because if you uncheck it, it will speed things up because it won't constant be, constantly be running in the background. So, I mean, you uncheck the ones you don't want on startup. Like, you see, I have uh, some of these don't not on startup. Catalyst, Super Anti, Spyware. And that one is uh, your preference. I just don't have it open on startup and open running all times. Um, but I do. It's not like I'm not secure because I have a vast running all the time. Um, and Skype and AMD. So, um, that's your preference, but that's how you access msconfig, and that's how you speed things up. Then once you do that, you'll uncheck, or any check that you make, any change that you make, I should say, you'll see this apply button right here. You click apply, then it'll say okay. You click it, and then it's probably going to ask you to restart your computer to make sure the changes go through. Do it, okay? Restart the computer, and then you'll be good, and your computer should start up, or speed up from there. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you on future videos and please subscribe to me on YouTube.